is you can't transplant a liver from an A-negative group to an O-negative recipient. What? The liver that Jack's got, there's no way that it could be Peter Baker's. Take it easy, okay? And, and trust me, this is not the way that I wanted you to find out. Drew, please. I'm sorry, okay? It's what I had to make you believe. I didn't have any other choice. Come on, please, just, just give me a chance to explain. Look, Rachel, I can't see how there can be any confusion here, okay? Jack's got Peter's liver, we know that. That's the only reason he got through this. It's just not medically possible. Yes, I checked the paperwork and it says that it's Peter's liver, but like I explained, there's no way it would have been compatible. Jack is a completely different blood type. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what's going on. No, what does it matter anyway? None of it's helping Jack now. He needs to have this operation. We just can't risk it. Not until we find some more blood that matches his type. Well, surely there's got to be some somewhere. I mean... Oh, can't we get some flying up from the city or something? Tony, if I could, I'd be doing it right now. There's just not enough. Reserves are too low. Our best chance is to find someone here with Jack's blood group and get them to donate. No, but what if we can't find someone? Well, we can't operate until we have the blood. But he needs that surgery now. Tony, we need to find some blood. If we don't... It started years ago. In the mid-90s, back when I was working undercover. You see, there was this family, the Gillens, and they were pretty high up on the food chain as far as the underworld goes. And they were involved in all sorts of stuff, but it was drugs mainly that was bankrolling everything else. You see, my partner Claire and I were involved in an operation to bring them down, which succeeded. We busted them. We intercepted a drug shipment worth millions and millions of dollars, so the whole family went to jail. <laughs> At the trial, Dennis Gillen, the head of the family, told me that I had to, I had to watch my back, that he was going to get revenge no matter how long it took. But you see, six months into his wife's sentence, she was killed in prison. It was one of their enemies. They'd made plenty along the way, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter to Dennis. He thought it was me. It was my fault that she was in there, so it was my fault that she was dead. That was all the more reason why he wanted me to pay. And he was going to be the one to make it happen. He wanted to be there and watch it happen. It was just an empty threat while he was in jail, but right before Zoe went on her final rampage, we found out that he got out. He got parole. I don't know how he did it. I don't know who he paid off, but he managed to get out and he was coming straight for me. Apparently, Dennis Gillen has been set free, so CID are worried that he might come after me. So what does CID want to do? They wanted me to go into hiding, but I said no. I'd spent the past 12 months devoting my every waking second to getting Zoe. I just... I just wanted my life back. For once, I didn't want my entire existence to revolve around my job. But, as it turns out, it didn't matter what I wanted. The guys from Witness Protection were watching me the whole time, and they saw the perfect opportunity to get me off the scene. I was unconscious after the explosion. Come on, mate, you'll be all right. Just stay with us, OK, Pete? They gave me a drug to induce a deep coma. Look, I didn't think it was possible either, but obviously it is. So as far as everyone was concerned, it was as though I was dead. You know, the drug made the hospital machines believe that too. At the same time that Dan and Leah were being told that I was dead, the guys from Witness Protection were waiting to get me out of there. But when they found out that Jack needed a new liver, they found a way to, to close the deal altogether and to put it beyond any sort of doubt that I was actually dead. Dr. Green from the hospital was in on it. This is ridiculous. They made him convince everyone that it was actually my liver that was being donated to save Jack. Witness Protection weren't going to take no for an answer. They managed to talk him into it. But we may have a donor for Jack. Drew, as far as everyone was concerned, that was that. I was dead, and Jack was going to have my liver. I can only imagine what everyone was going through. Dan, he'd been told that I was dead, and all the while, witness protection were making their plans to get me out of there. It goes without saying, Doctor, but no one can find out about this. Dr Green organised what I was going to need medically, then witness protection did the rest. The body that went to my funeral, in the coffin, it was somebody else. The first I knew of any of it was a couple of days later when I woke up. Hello. I hit the roof when I found out what they'd done. Look, I hated deceiving everyone. You have to believe that, but it was already done. 
Yeah, the, the world thought that I was dead. I, I, I couldn't come back. So that's why Gil and Suggs are coming after me? There was a leak in witness protection. They'd worked out that I was, that I was still alive, but they just didn't know where. So targeting you was their way of drawing me out. And, and Rice, framing me as the pirate, that was all part of this too? He was being blackmailed by Gillen. When he got caught, Gillen got his men to up the ante. Okay, and that's when they started attacking you. Every time they did something to you, Drew, they took pictures and they sent it through to Witness Protection with a note for me making it very clear that things were going to get a whole lot worse unless I came out of hiding. You sat back and did nothing? They've been targeting me for months. I didn't know anything about any of this until yesterday. That was the first time I'd heard about this. The second that I saw those photos, I was out of there, and that is why I'm here. I don't believe any of this. Mate, I know this is hard for you to take in, but right now, <laughs> but right now we have more important things to worry about, okay? When I took you, Dennis Gillen's men were right there. So it's only gonna be a matter of time before they get here. So what do we do now? We sit tight until I find out whether the coast is clear, and then I get you out of here as fast as I possibly can. And what about you? You just go back into witness protection? Dennis Gillen wants revenge, and he's not going to stop unless he gets it. Okay, if, if I stay in hiding, then you are in danger. The, the whole family is in danger, and I can't do that. Not anymore. The guy wants you dead. If that's the only way to keep you safe, Drew, then there is no other choice. Actually, well, I'm sure they're doing everything they can, mate. I'm sorry, we got here as quick as we could. How is he? Well, they need to operate again, but they can't until they get more of his blood type. He's apparently used it all up for the first time around. Well, there must be some somewhere. Well, Rachel says she's trying to find some, but I don't know. I haven't found anything yet. better news for you. We are losing him, aren't we? We need to get him into surgery. There's got to be blood somewhere in some hospital in some part of the country. I hate to keep saying the same thing, but we're doing everything that we can. Can I go back and see him, please? Yeah, just, just two at a time, though. Actually, love, we've just been in. Why don't you go in? No, you guys go up first, please. Beth, you too. Are you sure? Yeah, I just, I need a minute before I see him. Rachel said he may not walk again. His back's been injured that badly. You know, whoever did this to him really wanted him dead. They might just get their way. Oh, don't say that. I thought I'd lost him after that. That spider prank, you know, and then, and then again at the wedding with Zoe, but... But he got another chance. He's got his whole life ahead of him. And he's going to make it. You just said it. He's strong. Maybe not strong enough. Not this time. Tony. I should be able to do something better. I should have been able to help him, but I... Well, I can't do a damn thing, you know? It'll be a shock to see him like this, love. But you've got to be strong for Jack. He'd want you in there. I'm scared. I mean, I am. Of course I am. I just didn't feel right. We're not together. Why should I go in there? It's not my place. You're Jack's wife. You still love him. The rest of it, you can sort out later. But you shouldn't feel like you can't be in there. Jack's family should be in there, not me. It's just, it's not right. Hey. I'm really sorry. Thanks. You'll be all right. You have to believe that. Belle's obviously been a big help. What do you mean? 
being supportive, a good friend. A really good friend. 